agriculture is a major earner for New Zealand's economy. Increasing international demands for food safety and quality, animal traceability and biosecurity mean protecting New Zealand's farming reputation is vital. Nowhere more so than in the control of bovine tuberculosis in cattle and deer. The implications for TB on our international markets is is that could present us uh, with a non-tariff trade barrier, which means we'd be excluded from some international markets and drop the value of our product on farm. Osprey's TB Free program aims to eradicate bovine TB from New Zealand. The program has reduced infected herds from a peak of 1,700 in the mid-90s to around 50 today. The disease is tackled on three fronts. Herd TB testing and inspection at slaughter, to find and remove any infected cattle and deer from production and supply. Declared movement control areas and individual herd movement restrictions. Pest management to suppress and reduce the incidence of TB in possums. When I see in this area here, like I say, went from 80 infected herds down to none for the last six or eight or maybe 10 years. If you can get it out of an area like this with 186,000 acres of bush that was badly infected, it's achievable anywhere. Over recent years, the TB program has progressed ahead of schedule. It has eradicated TB from possums across 1.6 million hectares, reduced infected herds to low levels, and proved eradication is feasible. An independent review of the TB plan in 2015 found that complete eradication of TB is feasible. A new TB plan was introduced in 2016 and aims to achieve TB freedom in livestock by 2026, TB freedom in possums by 2040, and biological eradication of TB from New Zealand by 2055. The TB plan is jointly funded by the government and industry. 60% is funded by levies paid by cattle and deer farmers. The remaining 40% is funded by the government in recognition of the wider public, economic and environmental benefits of the TB plan. The key to eradicating bovine TB is getting rid of the disease from possums and livestock. Using a mix of ground and aerial control methods, we can lower possum populations, allowing the disease to die out. Livestock TB testing and movement control will become more targeted, focusing on herd location, herd history, and animal movement. We've shown eradication is possible. And for the sake of our biggest export industry, we can create a TB-free future. This has been a farmer-led initiative for a long period of time. On farm, we need to stay very focused in terms of meeting our requirements of testing and monitoring movements through the NAIP program. Don't take your foot off the throat. We put a massive amount of effort and, and money into getting the TB to the level that it's at now and we just can't afford to let it slip. Looking forward for the kids, for them to know that TB doesn't exist anymore and, and the environment is, is huge. It would be a great legacy to leave to uh, the future farming generations coming through. And the most expensive bit of TB to deal with will be that last bacterium and that'll be the one that brings us the best value. Yeah, we owe it to the generations of farmers who have gone before us who have put millions and millions of dollars and time and effort into trying to eradicate TB to get us to this point and we owe it to the future generations to give them a country that's TB free. Mm -hmm.